Hello, I'm Wiley Jackson, and welcome to Action Living. You know, this show is not your typical Bible teaching show. I've designed this show to meet you at whatever point you're at in your life so that you can take action to move to the next level. Whether you're rich or poor, black or white, young or old, we all share one thing in common. We all suffer from issues. For some of us, it may be a criminal past. For others, it may be adultery or overcoming past failures. But no matter what your issue is today, I'm going to share with you how to be healed from your issues. I want you to stay right where you are and get ready to be blessed with words of wisdom that are going to change your life. At the end of this show, you will be ready to take action and be healed. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Action Living. Today we're going to talk about being healed from your issues. Yes, we all have issues and we all stand in need of healing from our issues. The Bible talks in Mark, the fifth chapter, the 25th through the 34th verse, and the scripture reads, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, and has suffered many things of many physicians, and has spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what she was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Now we all have issues. In fact, I believe right now, everyone who is hearing my voice has a current issue. The preacher have issues. The missionary have issues. Every man and woman I know have issues. Children have issues. Issues, issues, issues that are going on in our lives. Something that is on your mind, something that we worry about and fret about, we have issues that need to be dealt with. And I'm excited about this message on today because we're going to deal with the issues. In the text that I just read, there was a woman who had an issue, a very serious issue that she needed some deliverance of. And the great thing about this woman, she was a woman of action. She didn't just sit there and let her issues overcome her and take her out, but she decided that she was going to do something about her issues. Now, have you noticed that this woman's name is not mentioned? Nowhere do they mention her name. They don't call her name. They don't say she's married, she's Sally, 
she just, they, the Bible just said she's a woman with an issue of blood. I want you to know that a lot of times when you have issues in life, you're not even defined by your name. You're defined by your issues. People can say, oh, that's the mean guy. That's the guy that's always complaining. That's the girl who can't get over her divorce. Or the guy that's angry because he lost the job and got mistreated. Or the girl who had an abortion and can't seem to get over that issue in her life. Or the preacher who's failed morally and everybody's being defined by the issues, 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 issues. And you know, since you're defined by your issues, your attitudes and actions are greatly shaped by the issues that you're dealing with in life. The Bible records that this woman had an issue, but she decided to do something about it. The scripture says she went to doctors for a long time. And normally when we go to doctors, we expect to get better. But the Bible says she grew worse. Isn't it amazing that sometimes you can have issues and go looking for solution after solution after solution. You read this book and you think that's the solution to your issue. You go to this place, you think that's the solution to your issue. You call on this friend. You think that's a solution to your issue. You try all type of things to resolve your issue to only find out you're growing worse rather than growing better. I remember when I first started the ministry, I felt like the reason that the church wouldn't grow you know how it is, any of us that attempt anything in life, we feel like it should be successful instantly. The minute we come up with the idea, it should just bloom right away. And we should be living larger than life because we came up with the idea. But then when you come up with an idea and it don't happen like you think it should, then all of a sudden you have issues with the things you don't have. Or the people don't understand you. Or I don't have enough money. Or nobody cares about me. And you lose yourself in your issues to the point that we don't even know our name no more. They just define us by our issues. We do nothing else in life because of the issues we're dealing with. That's why people try everything to forget about his or her issues. This woman issue led her from doctor to doctor to doctor, and she only got worse. I want to stop right here and say, even though she went from doctor to doctor and got worse, she was still taking action and not necessarily having positive results. I know you're tuning in to this program and say, well, you call this action living. I've taken action and I don't have any results. I don't know if this action you're talking about really works. But I'm here to let you know, if it don't work the first time, that don't mean you stop taking action. If it don't work the second time, that don't mean you stop taking action. Because the more you take action, the closer you get to resolving your issues. She didn't let the fact that her issue and her going to get treatment deter her from taking action. And I want to say to you that I like to say it this way. Disappointment is just simply his appointment. Because 
One door may slam in your face, but that door may slam in your face because God don't want you to sell them for what's good. He wants you to sell them for what's best. A lot of times we think what's good is all that the Lord have to offer us. But I'm here to let you know God wants you to have what's best. Taking that action step is going to lead you to what's best in your life. Now think about it. Here she is going to doctor after doctor, and it has devastated her financially. She has spent all her money, and she still was growing worse. How many times have your issue made you spend all your money and you can't even reason why you did it, but you spend money after money and you only grow worse? This is what the Bible says about this particular woman. Doctor after doctor, doctor after doctor, year after year. Sometimes we think 12 years is a long time in life, but I'm here to let you know 12 years is not a long time in God because God can restore everything you lost or thought you lost back in just one miracle. And so many times people live their lives year after year dealing with an issue, constantly trying to find success, constantly trying to find deliverance for their issue. Well, this woman got to the point of desperation. No doubt somebody told her uh, it was rumored throughout her area that a man called Jesus was coming through town that this Jesus was known as a healer, as a deliverer, and this Jesus can heal her of her issues. So she got desperate. When you get desperate, you forget about man's protocol, man's rule. You just make up in your mind, I want deliverance from this issue, and in order to receive what you never had before, you got to be willing to do what you never done before. But she decided within herself that I'm going to touch Jesus and my issue will be resolved. Sometime in life, before you meet Jesus, your issues can disqualify you. Your issues can lead you to a place that you don't feel like there is no deliverance for your issue. But when she became desperate, that's when God began to move in her life. And I want to encourage everyone on today, everyone that's watching this Action Living broadcast, it's time for you to become desperate. Desperate enough to say, I'm not going to deal with this issue any longer. Whatever it takes, I'm going to do what's necessary because I want to be free of this issue. Are you looking for a church where God's Word will show up in your home, on your job, with your family? Do you need a message that you can understand and apply to your life today? Gospel Tabernacle Cathedral is a place where God's Word takes action. Bishop Wiley Jackson's heart is to reach you where you are and teach you how to use God's Word to impact your life. Visit Gospel Tabernacle Cathedral in Atlanta or join us at Gospel Tabernacle Stone Mountain. We can't wait to meet you. The Bible says when the woman got desperate, she did things that probably if we looked at them today, she would be severely criticized. She would probably make the news for what she did to get healed. First of all, there was already a crowd around Jesus. Sometime when you're looking for your blessing, it can be a crowd in your path. But if you're desperate, 
the crowd makes no difference. The scripture says she pressed her way through the crowd. Sometime when you're desperate, it's going to be criticized. But don't let criticism slow you down. Let criticism motivate you to more. Have you ever noticed when you're not doing anything in life, nobody seems to have a problem with you? When I first started the ministry and there were no people there and didn't hardly have any furniture in the building, people, on, people came along and told me, keep praying. Hold on. The Lord will bless you. Trust him. Be faithful. They quote that scripture, we've been man do it for a night, but joy come in the morning. They tell me to wait on the Lord. He's going to renew my strength. They tell me you're a good preacher. Stay and believe God and that God going to deliver you. Well, I thought if I did what they said, the Lord would bless me. And I did what they told me to do. And the Lord began to bless me. He began to add members unto the church, raise the ministry up, put the ministry on worldwide television, cause people around the world to know about this action gospel. And all of a sudden, they tell me, well, I'm stuck on myself. I'm not humble anymore. Or I think I'm somebody special. And I'm trying to figure in my mind, I just did what you told me to do. So sometimes when you're determined and you're desperate, there's going to become criticism. But always use your criticism as stepping stones. Use your criticism as encouragement to know that you're doing the right thing. Because if you weren't doing the right thing, or you weren't doing anything, people wouldn't have anything to say. But the Bible says she pressed her way through this crowd and she was determined to get to Jesus. And she'd already made up in her mind, my issue's gonna be resolved. That's what you gotta do on today. You gotta make up in your mind that your issues are going to be resolved. Everybody repeat after me. My issues are going to be resolved in the name of Jesus. One more time. My issues are going to be resolved in the name of Jesus. So she said in her mind, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Notice she didn't say I got to make an appointment with him. She didn't say I got to stop him for counseling. She didn't say I, he need to give me a prayer cloth, a ball of oil, or anything. She didn't say he need to know my name, know what issue I'm dealing with. She already made up in her mind, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. And praise God when she pressed through the crowd and touched the hem of his garment. She took that action step to touch the hem of his garment. And notice that anybody that take action is going to stop Jesus in his tracks. When she touched Jesus, the Bible says, he felt the virtue come out of his body. When you touch Jesus with action, you're going to feel the power of God heal you from your issues. Jesus stopped and said, who touched me? And the disciples said, well, Lord, it's a big crowd. Everybody is bumping against you and everybody is touching you. What must this woman have thought that Jesus was talking to her out of all the people? But I found this out. When your issues have been resolved 
And because of your issues, people don't even know your name. Because of what you went through, you've been defined all your life by your issues. But once they've been resolved, you're the first person to stand up and testify. You're the first person to turn around and say, my issues have been resolved because I touched the hem of his garment. And when she came forward, Jesus said, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. I want you to stop, point your hands toward the television screen so that we can pray for your issue. We all got issues, but if we act on the word of God, our issues can be healed. We can be delivered and we can be set free in the name of Jesus. God is going to deal with your issues. He's going to deal with your issues, your children's issues, your husband's issue. You all invite everybody that got issues to come into the room with you because this prayer is going to send a wave of deliverance in your life and God is going to resolve your issues. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank God that our issues are being delivered because we made up in our mind that if we touch Jesus, Jesus will touch us back. And on today, we're touching the Lord. And the Lord is touching us back. Be healed from your issues in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I love to hear from you. I want you to let me know what issue you've overcome. What issue that you've been released of by touching Jesus on today and how this action message has motivated you to stop being defined by your issues and get up and do something in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you that each and every week taking action is not complicated. You don't have to be a Bible scholar to take action. You don't have to be a college professor to take action. You just got to be a person that's willing to take action. And the Lord will move mountains in your life so that you can be healed of your issues. God bless you. You can see I'm real excited about taking action against the issues in the name of Jesus. See you next time right here on Action Living. My friends, no matter what your issue is today, you must know that it is not permanent. Man may see you by your issue, but God sees you for who he made you to be. Take action today. Make up your mind that you are no longer defined by your issues because we serve a God that will restore you and resolve any problem you may have. I want you to take action, the first step to resolving your issues. Text me right now. And I will send you a free copy of my book, Born to Overcome. Take action right now and text me. My announcer is going to tell you how you can get my free book as well as the action steps you heard today and much more. Watch this and take action. Are you feeling stuck? unemployed or underemployed? Do you look around and see others succeeding and wonder why not you? Or maybe you feel there are bigger and better things waiting for you on the horizon, but you don't know how to get there. Sometimes getting there is a lot easier than it seems, especially if you know where to start. Wally Jackson wants to help you get started, but you must take the first step. 
You have to take action now. In his three-part DVD series, Action Living, Wiley Jackson guides you through the steps you need to take in order to begin experiencing the life you desire and deserve. Take the first step and text ACTION to 54244 and Wiley Jackson will send you his three full-length, unedited, and easy-to-follow teachings that will show you how to start taking the steps to build your future, whether it's your career, relationship, finances, or health. These easy-to-master principles will make an unbelievable and powerful difference in your life. But that's not all. When you text ACTION to 54244, Wally Jackson will send you his book, Born to Overcome, absolutely free. This inspiring and easy read will give you the confidence you need to conquer and prevail over any obstacle that comes your way. Overcome the fear of failure, pursue lifelong dreams with confidence, and claim the victory that God intended for you. You are only one step away from the greatest breakthrough in your life. Born to Overcome gives you the tools you need to align your thinking with God so you can receive the bountiful blessings in store for you. Solve life's problems today. Take the first step and text ACTION to 54244 and receive Wally Jackson's three-part DVD series, Action Living, for your love gift of $30 or more. Plus, receive his life-changing book, Born to Overcome, for free. Have the career that you've always desired. Buy the home that you've always wanted for your family. Live the life you know you deserve. Text ACTION to 54244 right now. Start your new life today. Thank you for watching Action Living. I hope this program has been a blessing to you. I want you to know that any problem you're facing can be overcome, but you have to make the first move. You have to take the first step. That step is making your mind up to take action. It may be hard and even a little scary in the beginning, but step by step, it gets easier. But hey, I'm here with you. I want to hear from you. So connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, or by visiting actionliving.org. Tell me how you've taken action in your life and let me share it so it can be a blessing to others. I look forward to seeing you back here next week on Action Living. Are you looking for a church where God's Word will show up in your home, on your job, with your family? Do you need a message that you can understand and apply to your life today? Gospel Tabernacle Cathedral is a place where God's Word takes action. Bishop Wiley Jackson's heart is to reach you where you are and teach you how to use God's Word to impact your life. Visit Gospel Tabernacle Cathedral in Atlanta or join us at Gospel Tabernacle Stone Mountain. We can't wait to meet you.